Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This time, I thought it would be a good idea to get into the question of the teachings of Catholicism specifically. Last time we talked about doctrines in Catholicism and what it means for something to be a doctrine. However, not everything taught by the Catholic Church or done by Catholics is a doctrine. Other Catholic practices and beliefs fall into two major categories, disciplines and practices. Disciplines are things that the church instructs people to do, which are not absolutely unchangeable, but which nevertheless should be obeyed. This would be things like refusing to let a married man become a priest, instructions and policies that weren't always the case and could be undone if it seemed likely to help the faith in some way. Practices are activities having to do with the faith life in the church, but which aren't sacraments or obligations. The lighting of candles when leaving prayer intentions and things of that nature. Nobody is required to participate in these kinds of secondary practices if they don't want to. However, as with fasting, they are usually a good method of strengthening your faith. The methods that people practice to strengthen their faith and to grow more active in their faith life come in all kinds. Some people recite specific prayers. Some have masses said for someone or start private devotions or just spend time in front of the Eucharist in what's called adoration. That's a word we use to mean worship reserved only for God. Me? I do research and study theology and the truths of the faith. I guess that's why I've been making this video series. I felt like it would have been stingy to learn all this stuff and just keep it to myself. Anyway, there's one more thing I want to say, and it is about this video series. You see, I've done my best, through research, logic, and philosophy, to present only accurate information about God and his truth. However, not everything in these videos is doctrine. A lot of it is, but specific arguments, specific rebuttals, and certain philosophical positions, like my position on time theory, are not part of the church's doctrine, so you're not required to believe them as a Catholic. Now, I don't think they're false, or I wouldn't have said them. I think the available evidence really does point to every last claim I've made being true. Still, if I should turn out to be mistaken about something, or if some claim I've made here is in conflict with an established doctrine or a certain truth of the church, well, then I hope someone will tell me about it so that I can be made aware of my mistake and figure out what went wrong. As I said in the earlier episodes, there are good independent reasons to think that the Catholic Church is the correct religion, and until those conclusions are challenged in some way, I want to keep talking like a faithful Catholic to the best of my ability. Next time, do faith or doctrine have to do with what we should believe? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.